Uh, also, thanks for inviting me to be here. It's a pleasure. Um, just to give some context for, for those of you who don't know uh, our utility. We are based in Porto, which is the second uh, largest city uh, in Portugal. And our utility operates in the city, okay? So it's a smaller utility when compared to, to, to the utility that, that it is managed by my colleague. Um, it would be impossible to tell you uh, everything that we do in Aguas do Porto in just uh, five minutes, uh, but a first message uh, that I would like to, to pass uh, relates to our, to our business model. So, uh, in our case, we don't deal only with, uh, with, with supplying the drinking water, with transporting and treating the wastewater. We are also concerned uh, with managing uh, the stormwater systems because we have not unitary systems, we have separative systems. Um, we are also concerned with managing the streams and rivers of the city, also the seafront side of the city. So for us, all water is one water, in fact. Uh, and uh, I think that that's the way to approach water. It's a, a single resource, and if we want to, to manage it in an efficient way, uh, we should start to, to consider it uh, as a single resource that we can treat, reuse, use, <laughs> whatever. Um, on the other hand, uh, on, on the other side, uh, uh, on, uh, relating uh, also to water efficiency, uh, I'd like to, to share with you uh, our journey uh, regarding water losses, okay? So uh, many utilities face this problem, which is uh, the water they abstract at the source and the, is lost in between when the water arrives to the tap uh, of the customer, okay? And back in 2006, uh, uh, my utility was losing half of this water, okay? So this is a lot for a resource that it is scarce, even though we can, uh, well, uh, pr uh, use the seawater to, to produce this resource, but fresh water is a scarce resource. And uh, we decided over the last 70, 17 years to, to put up a program that uh, um, was not aimed only at to reacting to, to the problem, which related to pipers and and whatever but an integrated program to to real to really deal uh, w with this problem that ranges from having people uh, literally listening to our pipes and identifying the, the pipers uh, in the systems uh, that ranges from this to to having like the most advanced tools based on AI on machine learning to predict uh, where pipers can occur to predict what are the most uh, fragile infrastructures that we need to replace uh, and to give us this information. So uh, we have this program, an, an integrated program for, for water losses uh, that we call it like, we, we, we compare it like an octopus because it is comprised of like many, many things inside. And with this program, we, we were able to move from losing 50% of our water in 2006 to only 13% in, uh, by the end of 2022, okay? Which is a very good level for those of you uh, who may be wondering about the, the nature of this number. On the other side, and on, on the side of circularity, I'd like to tell you that uh, we manage two wastewater treatment plants. They are two of the biggest in, Port in Portugal, uh, okay? And um, they are a bit old, uh, so they are in need of investment on many, many levels, energy efficiency, circularity, uh, resource uh, recovery, etc. cetera. Um, and we are concerned about the new proposal of directive for urban wastewater. So we have like a big investment in stock, but well, we still uh, need to, to decide which kind of investments we are going to, to pull in, in, the, in the coming years, uh, in the short term especially. Uh, and while we are waiting for that, we decided to put up a, a pilot system in our, 
in our treatment plants. Uh, it is a system, it, it is some sort of a quaternary system that allows us to, to transform our treated wastewater into water that we can reuse again, okay? So, and we are reusing this water uh, in things like cleaning up the public space of the entire city, okay? Uh, which is, I think, uh, a very good example. We are using this treated wastewater to watering the public green areas of the city. So these are uh, the, the, the two examples of using uh, water for reuse. And um, I think that, well, with these two examples, in addition to the business model of the company, uh, I would, for now, 